All right, so we're going to talk about the, these couple practice problems on parametric functions that you hopefully did as a little uh, warm up here. Um, and so first says find the equation of the line tangent. So of course we need to know the slope and slope in parametric dy dx. Uh, you can have the questions up on your screen, hopefully. Uh, dy dx is dy dt over dx dt. And so just power rule, 3t squared minus 12 for the dy dt. dx dt is 6t minus 3. And we're supposed to do this when t equals 1. So we can show that like that. And we plug in 1. And what do we get on top? Negative 9. On the bottom, we get 3. So we get negative 3 for the slope. Um, and so we know we're going to have y equals and the slope. And then we need our x and y coordinates. And for that, we uh, go back to the original equations and plug in 1 to both of those. So we plug 1 in for the x equation, 3 minus 3 uh, plus 1. So that would be 1 for the x coordinate. And when we plug in 1 for y into the y equation, we get 0. So y minus 0, if you want to write that. So there is the answer to the uh, first one, 1a. Uh, 1b, find where the tangent line is horizontal. Um, things are horizontal when their slope is 0. Fractions are 0 when the numerator is 0. So we want to know when 3t squared minus 12 equals 0, which becomes t squared equals 4. So t equals plus or minus 2. Now you do have to be careful and make sure the bottom is not 0 at the same time, um, but it's not, right? Um, 6t minus 3 will not be 0 at 2 or negative 2. Um, sometimes they will ask you for the points um, where it's happening, not just the values of t, in which case you'd have to plug 2 and negative 2 back into the original equations. Uh, where is the tangent line vertical? Uh, tangent line is vertical when the denominator of the slope is 0. And so that's when dx dt equals 0. So we get t equals 3 sixths or 1 half. And again, you could plug that into the equation to, to find the, the values of x and y. All right, number two, we have a position function. What is the velocity? Uh, velocity is going to be a vector. And so the velocity vector is just the derivative of the x component, comma, the derivative of the y component. And if we want to know the velocity at 2, we plug in 2 and we get 1 comma 12. So again, uh, that's an arrow that basically has an x component of 1 and a y component at 12. So uh, at that point, the particle is sort of heading off into, into that direction. Um, what's the uh, speed? Speed is the length of the velocity vector. So it's just a scalar. And so that comes from the Pythagorean theorem. So we get square root of 145. And then how far did the particle travel between time 0 and time 2? And the answer there will be the integral of the speed. And so the integral of the velocity vector, uh, the absolute value of the length of the velocity vector. And so we'll have the integral from 0 to 2 of 1 squared plus 3t squared quantity squared. And of course, these integrals um, typically are not very easy to do by hand and or impossible to do by hand. And so we just do this on our calculator. And I believe that gives us 6.630 for the length of that curve or how far the particle traveled.